Oh, but also, let's not forget the Apple Car thread that we've pulled on a few times recently. The Verge says that Apple held talks with EV startup Canoe last year. Apple was apparently mostly interested in Canoe's unique scalable electric vehicle platform. Remember that skateboard style platform that we talked about once before? The idea being when you're doing an electric vehicle, you don't have a whole drivetrain or basically that much moving parts because it's all mostly battery. And then because of that, you can basically just build this platform and put any type of vehicle on top of it. I think we talked about how that would be a boon for crazy car designs. Well, quoting The Verge, Canoe's scalable electric vehicle platform, or skateboard, is largely what drew Apple's interest, the people said. The platform is different from ones developed by other startups and larger automakers because it integrates more of the car's electronics, allowing for greater flexibility in cabin design. It also features steer-by-wire technology, which also increases design flexibility and is not yet widely adopted in the industry. Canoe was more interested in taking on an investment from Apple, two of the people said. Ultimately, the talks fell apart. Canoe has since become a publicly traded company after merging with a blank check fund that was listed on the NASDAQ in late 2020. Apple has made at least one other acquisition in the mobility space in recent years, buying Drive AI in 2019, end quote. But also remember how we talked about Apple and Hyundai supposedly in talks recently. Well, guess what? Quoting again, Hyundai and Canoe previously announced a plan to co-develop electric vehicles in February 2020, though that project appears to be unrelated to the startup's talks with Apple. Canoe refers to its partnership with Hyundai in recent filings with the Securities and Exchange Commission as an, quote, engineering services agreement that will see the companies co-develop a platform to power a, quote, small segment electric vehicle. But Canoe has not disclosed whether it has been paid for the Hyundai deal or whether any work has begun. Canoe was founded in late 2017 by a small group that split out from struggling EV startup Faraday Future, including multiple former BMW executives. As The Verge first reported, the effort was funded by a Chinese investor who is the son-in-law of a former Chinese Communist Party leader and the family in charge of Taiwanese tech company TPK, which supplies touchscreen technology to Apple. Canoe plans to make commercial electric vehicles, like delivery vans or food trucks, as well as a consumer-focused van that will be sold on a subscription basis. All of Canoe's vehicles are powered by that same scalable skateboard technology, end quote. 